Greetings students. Welcome to today's video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at Unit 7, Lesson 10, Fractions, the Chapter Wrap-Up. So we have an assessment coming up soon, so we want to make sure that we have a good understanding of how to, to deal with fractions. And so we'll spend a couple days looking at, at um, summarizing and reviewing some of the things that we've learned so far. Today we're going to be working on uh, this performance task. It's on page 107 in your student books. And so I strongly encourage you to get out your book and follow along. If I get too far ahead of you, I encourage you to, to pause the video and try to, to figure these out on your own and then see if you're able to do them correctly, right? So what we're going to read, we're going to read this story part first and then move on from there. So it says that Ella, David, Jack, and Carrie each have a chocolate bar of the same size, right? So they're different colors, but they're all the same size. And that's important because when we want to compare different things, when we want to make fractions, we need to make sure that they're all the same size. All right, it says that Ella breaks her chocolate bar into six pieces. She and her four sisters share the pieces. There is an extra piece which Ella takes. What fraction of the chocolate bar does each of her sisters take, right? Now, when dealing with fractions, I often think it's easy, easiest when we draw a picture. So I'm gonna draw a, a rectangle that will represent a chocolate bar. I'm gonna divide it into six parts using um, five lines. So one, two, three, four, five. Right? And so I know those aren't exact, but let's just imagine that those are exact lines. Okay, four equal or six equal parts. And she shared one part with each of her four sisters. Okay, and so I don't know the names of her sisters, so we'll just put sister, uh, sister one, sister two, sister three, sister four. Okay, Ella ate one of those pieces and she took the extra piece. Right? So Ella gets two of the pieces. So what fraction of the chocolate bar does each of her sisters take, right? And so we're looking at each, and each means one. So let's just say, how much did sister one get? Well, to make this a fraction, how many total parts are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. How many parts did sister one get? She got one sixth, okay? So each sister, Um, each sister got one sixth of the bar. Oops, no either, just B A R. All right. Now, letter B. What fraction of the bar do, bar does Ella take? Okay. So here we still have our picture up here that we can use, and here we see that Ella took two pieces. So let's use like a, a circly way to shade her in, right? So what fraction does she get? Well, remember there were six total pieces, so our denominator is six, and Ella took two parts, okay? And so how do we, how could we explain this? So Ella took two of the six parts. So she got two sixths, right? You could also say that she got one more than her other sisters and one six plus one sixth is two sixths. So a couple different ways that you would be able to, to answer a question like that. All right, let's go ahead and turn over to page 108. Now we're still thinking about the candy bars, okay? So the candy bars are still in our mind, right? Okay, so here we go. David breaks his chocolate bar into three equal pieces. He takes two, okay? So let's go ahead and draw our candy bar. This time we're only gonna divide it into three equal pieces and we'll do that by drawing two lines. One, two. And David takes two pieces, all right? 
So what fraction of the chocolate bar does David take? Well, if he takes, there's three total pieces, and David takes two of them, he took two thirds, okay? So David took two thirds of the bar, okay? And you could put chocolate bar if you want, but I'm just trying to make it a little bit shorter. Now, who takes more chocolate, Ella or David? Why do you think so? Draw, um, draw to show your answer, okay? So let's draw two candy bars because they want us to draw it, okay? We'll make this Ella, okay? And we'll draw another candy bar, and this is David. Now remember, Ella divided hers into six parts and she took two. Okay, so let's do that. So we draw five lines to make six parts. One, two, three, four, five. And Ella took two. David only broke his into three parts. One, two, and he took two parts. All right, so who took more? Well, just by looking at it, we can see that David took more chocolate, right? And how do we know that? Well, we know that even though they both took two pieces, Ella's pieces were smaller because she broke it into six pieces, okay? So we can answer it. David took more chocolate because his two pieces were bigger than Ella's two pieces, All right? So David has more because his pieces are bigger because he only broke into three pieces whereas Ella broke it into six pieces. All right, number three. Jack breaks his chocolate bar into 12 pieces. All right, so let's go ahead and draw that. So what I'm gonna do for, for, for Jack is I'm gonna draw, divide his into five, uh, or into uh, six pieces using five lines. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm also gonna break them down the center. So now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, okay? So he breaks his up really small. He takes five of the pieces. So let's put J's in all of the Jack pieces. He takes five of them and gives the rest to his friends. Who takes the most amount of chocolate, Ella, David, or Jack? How can you tell? All right, so uh, we can draw pictures here. So this is Jack, this will be Ella, and this will be David. Okay, Ella broke hers into six pieces and took two. David broke his into three pieces and took two, all right? And so who takes the most amount of chocolate? Well, again, by looking at it, we can see that David took significantly more than Ella, and he also took more than Jack. But Jack took five pieces. How could Jack take less if he took five pieces when David only took two? Again, it's because of how big those pieces are, right? So here we have five twelfths, here we have two sixths, and here we have two thirds, right? For, for David, his pieces are really big because he only broke it into three pieces, whereas Ella's pieces were smaller, but Jack's pieces are really small because he broke it into 12 pieces. 
Now, he did get more than Ella. He got a little bit more than Ella did, but not nearly as much as David. Okay? And so, again, David took the most because... Can you see that? Because his pieces were so big. All right. So out of these three friends so far, David has had the most of the chocolate. All right. Let's look at page, page 109, number four. Carrie also breaks his chocolate into 12 pieces. He takes six pieces and gives the rest to his sister. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. So I'm gonna do it just like I did uh, for, for Jack. So I'm gonna divide it into six parts first. One, two, three, four, five lines. And then I'm gonna divide it down the middle. Okay, now it says he takes six pieces. Um, so I'm gonna put a K in six of the boxes. All right, and so what fraction of the chocolate bar does his sister take, All right? So we'll put S for, for sister here. Sister, 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 sister. And what we see is that the sister took, let's so remember there's 12 total pieces. The sister took six of those. Now you might also notice something here. It looks like the sister took what? It looks like the sister took half of that bar. And we can find out if that's true. How do we get from six to one? We divide by six. How do we get from 12 to two? We divide by six. And so six twelfths and one half are equivalent fractions. So we could say that the sister took six twelfths or we could say that the sister took one half. Either way you wanna say it, it's totally fine. All right, so what fraction of the chocolate bar did his sister take? His sister took, and we'll use the first one we came up with, six twelfths of the bar, okay? Now, who takes more chocolate, Carrie or Jack, All right? So let's draw it out. All right, one, two, three, four, five, divide it in half. Let's draw Jack now, and I'll label these here in just a second. So Carrie and Jack. Let's divide Jack's up, one, two, three, four, five. That makes six parts, divide six in half, and that gives us 12. Carrie, remember, took six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and Jack took five. Jack, 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 right? So who takes more chocolate, Carrie or Jack? Well, by looking at it, we can see that Carrie takes a little bit more. Now let's look at fractions. So K equals six twelfths, whereas Jack took five twelfths, all right? And so here, the candy bars are broken into the same amount of pieces, so whoever has the most pieces has the most, and therefore, Carrie has the most chocolate. He took the most, and so Carrie took more of the bar, or took more of the chocolate. All right, now on the number line, write the fraction of a bar of chocolate each of the four children takes, okay? So let's go ahead and, and label this bar. So we have 1 12th, 1 6th. Oh, they put 1 6th. Where did they get 1 6th? Oh, this was 2 12th, but 12 divided by 2 equals six, and two divided by two equals one. So they were able to do that, okay? This would be three twelfths, four twelfths, 
five twelfths, six twelfths, seven twelfths, eight twelfths, nine twelfths, ten twelfths, eleven twelfths. All right? Now we can also see here that if this and this are both even, I know I can divide both of those by two. Divide both of those by two. Four divided by two is two. 12 divided by two is six. And then we could even do this again and it would equal one third. Okay, so this also equals one third. Five and 12, is there anything I can divide both of those by? I can't. 6 twelfths, what can I divide? Well, I can divide both by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 12 divided by 2 is 6. But I also could divide 3. I could divide that by 3 and 6 by 3, and that would equal 1 half. 7 and 12, is there anything I can divide both those by? No, I can't. 8 twelfths, well, I could divide both those by 2. That would be 4 and six, and I could divide both of those but again, and that would be, divide those, four divided by two is two, six divided by two is three. Nine twelfths, can I divide those by anything? Uh, nine twelfths, I could divide both of those by three. Nine divided by three is three, 12 divided by three, or, or 12, yeah, 12 divided by three is four. Can I divide three and four by anything? Mm -mm, I can't. 10 and 12, can I divide those by anything? Yeah, they're both even, so I could divide both of those by two. 10 divided by two is five. 12 divided by two is six. 11 and 12, do we know that? Can I divide those by anything the same? I can't, and then one. All right, so now we need to put on our, um, on our fraction bar where each one stood, okay? So let's remember back to Ella. Um, Ella ate two sixth. So where do we see two sixth? Well, we see two sixth right here. And so this one, I'll draw a little line. This is Ella. Okay. David, remember, David ate two thirds. So where do we see two thirds on the line? All right. Two thirds is all the way right here. And so this one right here is David. Okay. Next, we had Jack. Jack ate five twelfths. So let's go find five twelfths. There's five twelfths. And so this one is Jack. And the last one was Carrie. And Carrie ate six twelfths. And six twelfths was right here. And so Carrie ate six twelfths. So who had the most? David. Who had the least? Ella. All right. Okay. Now, using the number line above, we can fill in this. All right. Or we could use multiplication. All right. So one third equals what? So here we go. One third equals how many sixths? Two sixths. And how many fourths? Four twelfths. All right, but we could also use multiplication to do this. How do I get from two to six times two? Anything I do to the bottom, I have to do the top times two. Now I have a two, how do I get from two to a four times two? Anything I do to the bottom, I anything I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom times two. Six times two equals 12, okay? So I can use the number line or I could just use math. Now let's do this one using math and then see if we're able to get the right answer, okay? How do I get from a one to a three? I'm gonna multiply by three. Anything I do to the top, I have to do to the bottom times three. And so that would equal three sixths, okay? Now I'm gonna go from six to 12. How do I do that? I times it by two. Anything I do to the bot top bottom, I have to do to the top times two, six or three times two is six. Now let's see if we were able to solve that. Here's one half. One half is also equal to three sixths, and three sixths is also equal to nine twelfths. 
right? So whether we use the number line or whether we use um, whether we use the uh, math, we're able to get the right answer. All right. Well, that is the conclusion of our video for today. I hope you have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Bye.